Hello my data science friends, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Divyan Shagrawal and you are watching Knowledge Overflow. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you guys and I hope you really enjoyed your new year celebration. And second of all, I would like to apologize for a bit of a delay with this video because I have not been well for the past few days and you also could guess by my voice by now. But here I am, I am trying my best to get most of the courses to you guys even with this voice. So in this video, we will be talking about another data science course that is coming your way from the University of Amsterdam, which is situated in Netherlands. So we are moving into the EU region once again after Germany. And uh, Netherlands is a place where not much people know about, but it's a very good country to pursue your master's, your higher education. So you must look at uh, this particular course and we will talk about how to apply the program overview course curriculum application how to apply fees scholarships everything so stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this awesome course and before moving into the course let's just analyze the university so this university is situated in amsterdam in netherlands the capital city of the netherlands they've got a world rank of 55 you can see it's a top-notch university status is public and research output is very high student to faculty ratio is again very good 11 is to 1 scholarships are there i'll be talking about it in a while international students are already close to 8000 and the campus size is extra large if we talk about the world ranking by subject uh, this course is offered by the computer science department and uh, they have got a world rank of 40 which is even better so you can see uh, what a top-notch university it is and uh, the competition is much lesser as compared to other countries like us uk canada germany australia Netherlands is a country where uh, people don't know much about and the graduate employability ranking is 141 to 150 rank band so you can definitely shortlist this course now if we just talk about the course so this course goes by the name of masters of information studies with data science track so this is the main landing page of this course and here you can see the very first topic is always like always about data science how is data science useful in the today's world and all and then if we move on you can see they will teach you about uh, working in different domains like healthcare media and communication smart city as well interesting topic life sciences and digital humanities these kind of topics you will be studying when you go through this course and um, then there is a question is data science for you i mean if you really belong to this field or not and uh, some important facts and figures for this course this degree offer would be msc in information studies it's a full time and part time both options are available for you uh, i will be telling you the difference uh, the only difference is course duration and all a language of instruction is english and croho code uh, it's a central register of higher education in netherlands so they have given a code as well and the credits is 60 european credits so it will be a 12 month course that is one year and it starts in september so fall intake is there and location is science park their campus uh, now if you talk about uh, the curriculum the, the courses that are being taught in this uh, course so there are some core courses and uh, there are uh, electives as well so in the first semester you will be uh, studying three core courses and one elective and in the second semester you will be studying one core course and one elective along with your master's thesis so the core courses that are available are fundamentals of data science statistics simulation and optimization applied machine learning data systems project and big data and for electives we will be just looking into it uh, on a different website master's thesis is all about uh, you will be pursuing a research project and uh, you will be supervised by a professor there it's not necessary for you to find a supervisor because they haven't uh, asked you to do so but if you have someone in mind you can just let the university know that i have some professor in mind who will be readily available for supervising my research and this is the program for the full time thing so in the semester 1 you will be studying these three courses core courses and there is an elective and then a data systems project that you will be doing it's called, it could be considered as a minor project and in semester 2 you will be studying two subjects uh, one is a core big data and another one is an elective and then again the master's thesis as i told and uh, as far as part-time study is concerned the course goes exactly the same but uh, instead of completing it in one year you will be completing it in two years and um, here is the you know breakup so uh, two courses core courses as uh, was in the case of first semester and a project minor project in the very first uh, semester and then big data elective ones and uh, there is a preparation master's thesis maybe some background on how you will be doing your master's thesis that is something i don't know much about but uh, you know once you get in you will be uh, much more knowledgeable about this thing 
and in year two again you will be studying two subjects and then a master's thesis also they have suggested you to bring your own device and uh, there are some specifications that you have to follow not not compulsorily but they have suggested that these are the specifications that you need to have we will be talking about it but before that let's just explore the elective courses so these are the elective courses the restricted choice ones so for semester one uh, there are some elective courses like applied forecasting in complex systems dynamics in business and it knowledge engineering modeling systems dynamics and social web these are the uh, subjects available for you to take up in semester one and for semester two there are some other subjects casual data science data sensors and complex services data driven business innovation and entrepreneurship information retrieval one perspectives on information and society and policy making and rule governance whatever subject you like you can go and choose it as for the device compatibility so you will need to have 4 gb of ram or more of course hdd or ssd of 128 or 256 gb for a dual boot of course and ssd is of course recommended for faster performance and wi-fi adapter that supports 3.0 and uh, 11 inch screen at least should be there and a screen resolution 1366 by 768 and that is a standard but 1920 by 1080 is recommended of course these are the screen resolution that you find in most of these laptops these days so you don't have to worry much and um, you get the microsoft office license free once you get in into this university in this course and if you just misplace your laptop and you're broken you have given it for repair and something like that once you get in they have a facility for you to you know temporary rent laptops uh, from the library and um, if you talk about the applications so for the international students uh, the deadline is 31st of january and uh, you need to complete all your documentations and all of these things before 31st of January so you can go apply now the applications are still open let's just jump into the application process how the application process looks like and if in any case you need to go to the international teams these are the two uh, point of contact you can go there is a form that you can fill in uh, they will reach out to you and uh, you can also email to them I'll pass both of these link into the video description and for the application process you will need to first of all check the deadlines you have already checked it so uh, it's 31st january in your case and for the entry requirements uh, what you need to have is your prior education so you need to have a bachelor's degree in one of the related fields uh, there are some fields that are given here ai business studies communication studies computer science information science information studies media studies and psychology so these are the studies that they find uh, you know compatible with this particular course and they haven't written how many years of courses they need so even three year degree people could apply here as well so this is a good news as far as gpa is concerned you need to have a 3.1 in american system 2.1 in the british system or a c grade uh, according to the ects system and uh, english language proficiency so you will need to prove your english language proficiency either with the toefl test or with the academic ielts or a cambridge course so three, three tests are accepted others are not and uh, if you have a bachelor's degree from a dutch university or you belong to a country like uk ireland usa or canada with exception of quebec and australia and new zealand so you are uh, exempt from giving the test otherwise you will have to give the test score and uh, the required knowledge and skills are there are some courses prerequisite courses which are programming skills so at least 12 European credit courses should be there in your bachelor's degree on programming skills, 6 on statistics and 12 on data and information modeling. So all around these are the ask for the prerequisite courses. There is an assignment as well they have given so you can take it and you can have a check on your background knowledge if you have that. Of course this is not a part of the application but it's just an assignment for letting you know if you are uh, ready to apply or not. And uh, then uh, you have to uh, apply uh, in this study link. So before you can apply to University of Amsterdam you need to have an enrollment application in the study link and you will be getting a DGID which is a digital identification then based on that DGID you will be activating your UVA net ID and uh, from that you will be able to apply to the course and you will have to submit your application form through UVA uh, net ID here you will be asked to submit all the documents in the PDF format and uh, if there are multiple academic transcripts you need to combine those and combine those into one PDF and then upload 
and all the documents that are needed here are the motivation letter in english of maximum of 500 words your cv or resume in english and your high school uh, grade list a copy of your bachelor's transcript as well in dutch english or german or french and uh, of course you need to have a description of your bachelor's thesis or project in english i mean this is not asked by many but here they give the weightage to that as well so you need to uh, define your bachelor's thesis as well you will upload the document and uh, two email address of the referees so the one you will be referring you need to give their email and ask them to be ready they will be asking directly through the email for the references and proof of english proficiency of course these are the documents that require that are required to apply finally you need to wait for the admission decisions and after the conditional admission offer what you have to do is you can accept or decline decline the offer and you need to submit the certified documents register for immigration housing and start appointment of course and request the student id card from the university of amsterdam and finally pay the tuition fees these are the things that you need to follow as a part of the application and as for the english language proficiency scores so toefl test you need to have a minimum of 100 in in the toefl ibt test uh, because this course goes in the information studies so the score here you are seeing is general for masters all the masters in university of amsterdam but there are some exceptions like ai brain and cognitive sciences and all these courses which includes information studies this course as well so you need to have a 100 with a minimum of 22 for listening 24 for reading and writing and 25 for speaking these are the requirements and they have given the code as well for that you can directly submit while giving the english language test and for ielts you can have a minimum score of 7 with 6.5 on each of the subject again this lies in the exception band information studies and for cambridge you will have a score of c1 advanced with a minimum of 190 score so these are the things that you need to keep in mind if you are giving the test also toefl home edition is allowed it is an important note given here for the february and september 2022 intake so it's a very good thing so if you have taken the toefl home edition right now or they are going to take one so it will be accepted as of september 2022 at intake so you can go and take that and ielts of course ielts should be academic and these should not be older than two years so if you have given toefl or IELTS test more than two years ago so you need to reappear and then submit so that was all about um, all the application requirements and how to apply and all these now talk about the fees so uh, the fees for this particular course it's an interactive one you will, you will be entering your course name I entered it all so to, as to save some time and uh, I want to follow a regular program uh, this is a regular program so here are the details on all of the fees but it uh, includes for both the e EU students and for international students let's just look into what is it for the international students so here they ask for the nationality we are none of the above and uh, the residence permit is for us no residence permit allowed and this finally gives you the rate so 22,880 euros are the tuition fees for you guys and apart from that there is a statutory tuition fees of uh, 2209 for the full time courses and uh, this is a one year course and if we total it all it would uh, a round of 225,089 euros and if converted into Indian rupees it would uh, correspond to 21,7000 rupees as of the current rate uh, this was about the total fees here and um, I know this is a lot of ask for one year but again Netherlands is a country untouched by a lot of international students there are not many students currently going for Netherlands but it's a very good place to be in to study data science and all and to support your tuition fees there are some scholarships available by the University of Amsterdam here is the scholarships page top one scholarship is not for you this is for EU students so if any of you EU students are watching this video you can have a look at this scholarship there is one scholarship for international student which goes by the name of Amsterdam Merit Scholarship it is specifically for outside of European economic area students so international students basically and the amount would be equal to the tuition fee so you can see amount is equal to tuition fee so once you get the scholarship uh, you will be getting a hundred percent of it and deadline is 15th of January you need to sep apply separately there is a link for that I will just pass this link as well into the video description there are some non UVA scholarships UVA means University One Amsterdam which is uh, Dutch for University of Amsterdam here is the non UVA scholarships there are some scholarships that like ASML scholarship so if you have completed a Bachelor of Science from any of the ASML partners university 
you can go apply for it but more interestingly there is a scholarship for uh, specifically for women so women tech maker scholars program in this if you are going for a bachelor masters or phd degree in computer science or a closely related technical field so this is information study which is really really closely related to computer science so you will be eligible for that you can have a look on this uh, page this website and the recipients will receive 7000 euro of scholarship as a part of this scholarship program and uh, then there is a Google Europe scholarship for students with disabilities. So if you are a differently able person and going to apply for bachelor, master or PhD within computer science or a closely related technical field again, you will be eligible for this and the deadline is 6th of December 2018. I don't know why this is 2018. They haven't updated it yet, but you can have a look at this uh, website and uh, you too will be receiving 7000 euros uh, in scholarship and uh, then again if you can't still uh, find any of the scholarships here you can find the scholarships in here grant finder scholarships portal and i will pass this link into the video description as well so this was all about this beautiful course i hope you like this course and i hope you like this video you'll go apply for it and let me know if you are going to apply for it and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share this video and the channel with your friends who are looking out for data science courses i have worked upon a lot of master's courses for you guys in data science i'll keep coming up with uh, different data science courses and in near future i'm hoping to expand it to more generic computer science courses as well and more niche courses like cyber security and some other specialization courses in computer science so stay tuned to the channel and please share this channel and video with your friends uh, who are looking out for masters uh, courses throughout the world until next video au revoir